Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your June 2022 reading. This is for the beginning of June, actually the entire month of June. What is coming your way? What messages Spirit has for you? For those of you that have asked about personal readings, the link to my Etsy shop is down below. I have added additional readings. Um, so just click on the link and see what resonates with what you need guidance and clarity in. And for those of you that are new, again, welcome. Please subscribe, like, and share. That way, as I meditate before each reading, whether you are a subscriber, whether you like the video, whether you leave a comment, I can pull in your energy and bring more personal messages to you that you know you're only resonating with from spirit. Okay. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon. Rising in Venus. Okay. Archangel Zap Kiel. Romance. Awesome. Something for some of you, it's going to be about romance. A brand new beginning when it comes to romance, because that's at the bottom. Archangel Shamil. And then the other card that's at the top is. Archangel Jophiel, Liberation. Look at that eagle. All that glowing yellow light. I love that card. I already feel like it's going to be a big month for you. Rose's Kiss. This is a great card. Look at the rose opening, but also look at, again, all the glistening energy and the ladybug. The ladybug, that is luck. This month, things happening for you. Pay attention to seeing ladybugs. Spirit is going to connect with you in that manner. Three, three, three. Pay attention to repeating threes. All right. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we're going to take the one that flipped over. Finding Sanctuary. Opening to your spiritual source. I got to tell you, that is coming out a lot. And what I've said on the other readings... If you haven't tried meditation, look up meditation on YouTube. There's many. Meditation to your spiritual source. Meditation to your archangels. Listen to it when you're driving to work, when you're at the gym, or when you're falling asleep at night. Even if you fall asleep, you're still absorbing the messages. Spirit will connect with you and guide you. If you even want to go the extra step, journal. When you wake up, journal what you remember from your dreams. Spirit is giving you answers and helping you. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit. And as always, if it doesn't completely resonate, always watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign. Creates a whole picture, brings additional messages to you. And look at this again. All that yellow energy card of number three again all that blossoming energy there's abundance coming towards you it could be in terms of love for some of you but you are glowing this month strategy somebody has a plan pay attention to feathers compass it's like you're writing what direction you're, you're writing in your journal, you're writing what direction you're going in, you're manifesting what your heart truly desires. All right. Spirit, please bring clarity to my Geminis. What is coming towards them? What messages do you have for the month of June? At the 
bottom, the Emperor, the Vast Network. So like I said, you are on top of your game this month. The Emperor sitting on his throne, knowing his worth, could have fire in your chart, specifically Aries. But it's people are noticing you. You've got your act together. You're attractive. You take care of yourself. You seem like you're an unlimited source of abundance. That everything always works out in your favor. This is how people view you. And this is the energy you're showing up in in the month of June. Your past energy, seven of clouds. You could be thinking about things in the past. But basically for this past energy, it's spirit saying be here in the now. Because it's this month is the month that you're going to receive, Gemini. Present, nine of clouds. See all, there could have been things that didn't work out in your favor in the past that had you stuck in this energy. But being here in the now, look at all the beauty after the storm. The beauty after things were removed from your life that weren't meant for you, that weren't meant to take space in your life. So don't allow them to take space in your soul or in your mind and heart. Because after a storm, after something that did not happen and was removed from your life, taken from your life, something that you're in your head about, after the storm, there's all this beauty, all this clarity. Future energy. <clears throat> the floating one between worlds. It's like, you know what? I think I'm going to come out. Going to stop, you know, hiding. Maybe take a leap of faith to something new. I think it's time. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I'll wait till July. But now with you being in this energy, do not wait any longer. Come out. Be in the here and now. Because look at this. This brand new beginning is starting for you. Brand new successful beginning. And it starts in the month of June. You could live by a beach. You could be on vacation. And maybe you run into someone. But it's like better memories. Better times are ahead. You might have many offers this month. You might need to figure out two of paths. You might need to make decisions and figure out what path you want to go down. But I feel like, again, with all this glowing energy, the roses kiss with the ladybug. It's good. What your decision is going to be is going to put you on the path that you were meant to be on. And there is the renewal. The mind over matter, the um, knowing your worth, only allowing choices and people to come towards you that have your best interests at heart. You are whatever decision, whatever path you choose, whatever you need to make a decision on, it's going to work out for you because... You withheld anything that wasn't meant for you. You withheld the storm in the past. And now everything's coming back to light. Everything is seeming beautiful. And now you're popping your head out of the water. All right, Gemini, we're going to get clarity. All right, please clarify the seven of clouds. The distant focus. The sun. Look at how amazing this is. When you put yourself in the here and now, you're going to come out of this. You're going to come out of having your head in the clouds and the sun is going to shine back in your life. Something huge is coming this month. And like I said, could be terms of romance for some of you. Others, it's just going to feel like this month is 
things are working out for you because you're showing up as the emperor. You withheld things in the past in the storm. You learned your lessons. You went the distance. You didn't give up. And now all this sun is going to come back in. It very well could be a fire sign that you're that brings this in because at the bottom is the three of trees, the three of pentacles. Somebody wants to come towards you, could be a fire sign, but offer you support. You could work with them, but they want to have your back. Please clarify the nine of clouds. The path. And like I said, Gemini, your spirit guides have always been with you. And I feel like you know that. You always knew that there was going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And you're on the right path. It might have taken you some time to take a break, to soul search, to have some rest, clear your mind. But you did all that. And that's why this month is showing up the way it is. The floating one. Why is the floating one here? Thank you, Spirit. The force. The strength to put your head out of the water. The strength to come out and show up. To come out of hermit mode. And allow Spirit to show you the light. To take the path with you. Hold on, I just dropped my card. You're definitely being guided. There is going to be, you might even have a spirit connection. Your spirit animal might be a bird, might be an eagle. But it's also communication coming in. Please clarify the world. Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here? What is coming in new for Gemini? Thank you. Look at this, the world card again. But let me show you here. Everything is turning in your favor because you've you've gone through the transformation. Now everything is turning in your favor. It's going to be like June is the first month of the rest of your life. And why is the two of pawns here? What choices? five of angels there could be somebody coming back towards you that left you feeling alone left you feeling out in the cold like i said definitely could be a fire sign but i don't think you need to worry because you've mentally are on point so you're going to know the energy you're going to trust your gut feeling your instincts you're not going to allow, you know, a very small offer to come in if it's from the person that left you out in the cold. You're showing up very strong. Both the king of clouds being the king of air and, and the emperor. So fear nothing. Because no matter what choice you make, you're going to know that you've got the freedom to do that. You have learned lessons and now you're willing to fly high. You're not going to let anybody hold you back anymore. It's like fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. One last part. Okay, let's see what came out. The person coming towards you, I have also, I feel like has done some soul searching. They might not have been coming in 100%. They might not have been in that energy when they met you. It might have been on go off guard. Like they weren't expecting to come in contact with you to have these feelings for you. They have done some soul searching. And here they come. Here is the union. Here is the connection. All right, let me see what else comes out for June for Gemini. Angels for June from the Gemini's 2022. 
one more card for Gemini 2022. Never ending story, wanted to pop out, but it didn't flip over. Yep, exchanging gifts. This person might show up, like I said, at your doorstep after a storm and have a small token of their love in their hands for you. That might be the, the, um, the conversation of both emotions for each other. You got to let me know how it resonates. And the last card. Co-create, learning to get along, deep knowing with the owl right there. And then look what's at the bottom. Look at these two cards with all that yellow bursting energy from spirit. You're in all your feels this month. People see you shining. That's why this person coming in is drawn to you. But aside from romance, because it was going to be general, aside from romance, this is a time this month to connect with spirit. You're writing your own story. Journal when you see repeating threes, when you see rainbows. Journal what you're thinking at the time. After you listen to meditation, journal um, when you wake up in the morning, the dreams you remember. The ladybug here and the sun here, luck is on your side this month. All right, Gemini, here is your June 2020 reading and I will, 2022 reading, and I will be back for many more readings. And like I said, if you remember to come back at the end of June, let me know what transpired. Well, let me know what came into fruition, okay? All right, love and light, stay safe.